Have you ever been curious about the real cost of a California closet and how to work within the design process while staying under a certain budget? If so, we are getting into it right now. <laughs> Welcome to another edition of Real Design Your Home with me, Jen, the Homefluencer. On this channel, we meet at the intersection of real everyday people like you and me and aesthetically pleasing interior design, which is why we call it Real Design. We go over things like tips and tricks, how-tos, DIYs, home tours, and really the mentality that goes into each design or space so that together we can all all be real designers. I invite you to join the Real Design family and come back every single Wednesday for our weekly video uploads. All right, real designers, let's get into it. I don't want this to just be another California closet tour video. Instead, I'm going to be focusing on specifically how to do this on a budget, design choices that we made to help keep it within the budget that we had for this closet, and also some design tips to make it stand out, maybe make better use of the space than you otherwise would have initially thought about. I will be sharing what our budget was for this closet and also how the final price stacked up against our budget. Budget. So make sure to stick around till the very end to hear those figures. But first, let's get into the obligatory closet tour shots, shall we? <laughs> I'm just going to hopefully state the obvious here. You don't have to pick white. Why is every single California closet that I see white? <laughs> Truly. And I will say even the design center in which we got it just literally assumed I was going to pick white. And I was like, you must not know me very well because the last thing that I like to do is to do what everybody else does. <laughs> This taupe color here we chose, it is everything that my cool tone dreams were made of, truly. <laughs> I knew that I wanted to pair this taupe color with a wall color like we chose here. It's just what I had in mind from the beginning and I was looking for almost like the perfect cobalt blue, but that had more of a hint of a teal undertone. And I tell you, I couldn't find it anywhere. That was until I was perusing around the at-home superstore one day and I found these totes. I was like, that's it. <laughs> so what did I do? I marched my butt into Lowe's with this tote and said, I need this color. <laughs> so that's a little design tip for you there. If you have something that you can physically take into a paint store and just say, I want this color, they can make it for you. And that's exactly what I did with these baskets. I knew going into this process that it was going to be absolutely crucial to use every inch of space that we have here because this actually used to be just my closet. So I was inspired by Marie Kondo to do some major decluttering all throughout my house, but namely here in the closet. And we actually did some home renovations where our master closet, which is what my husband used for his closet, really got, you know, destructed and turned into something else. So spoiler alert, if you would like to see future home renovation tours, which I will be doing on this channel, please hit the subscribe button. Every single inch mattered. So let me show you a little bit of that now. I knew hat storage for my husband was a big concern because he had so many hats. I thought this was a really good solution for that. Right here where you see the triple hanging, even California closets thought I was crazy to do this because again, remember we have eight foot ceilings and traditionally you would never do a triple hung closet with an eight foot ceiling unless it was children's clothing. But I knew that if I could make the very bottom small to essentially fit my jeans folded a certain way down at the bottom and my skirts, I was determined I knew I could make it work. <laughs> 
As you can see on my husband's side here, we just have the double hung. That's really all he needed in terms of space. I was strategic about the single hanging over here because I knew I just wanted to hang dresses and rompers over there, but I also didn't want to have too much single hanging because again, every inch mattered. Even these little spots here at the top are the perfect size to fit the few purses that I do have, as well as some extra kind of sweatshirts and things like that that I don't need access to every single day. Thought of this little kind of, I call it like a get ready station, where the whole idea, it's kind of the first place you go and the last place that you'll need. So in these drawers, we generally keep like our undergarments, undershirts, all that kind of stuff. And then we also keep our glasses here, jewelry, watches. There's a little perfume tower here. And you'll see here with these drawers, we decided to put an insert and that same insert matches the countertop. Adding something like this really makes a difference. Did it cost money? Yes, but I think it was money well spent. I think the mirror adds a really nice touch as well as the hampers. I think it's important to mix the design up, meaning when I first went into this, I think I thought, oh, I want everything California closet. But truly, it looks so much better to have a blend, almost the same as like if you'd go to a furniture store and buy the living room suit, so to speak. Your house is probably going to look more eclectic and beautiful if you gather pieces from different places. I brought in this really cute stool that actually functions additionally as a step ladder. We also have a bench here in the middle that you can sit down and get ready, put your shoes on, so that's why it's right by the shoes. And adding this carpet, I think, really anchored the whole space. I found these light fixtures. I really loved how they just had a modern rustic touch with the gunmetal. And as you can see, if you look at the handles and the fixtures, we actually chose a gunmetal color to go with the taupe, and I think it looks great together. Now that we're done talking about some of the design aesthetics and things, I want to talk a little bit about where to save money. The first thing I will tell you is be strategic about your drawers. Drawers are expensive. I think it looks great to have drawers in the closet and I would recommend having some sort of drawer storage because it really breaks up all the hanging space. But if you did wall to wall drawers, this would be thousands upon thousands more. And then two additional large areas where we saved a lot of money is when I first went into this, what everybody thinks of when they think of a California closet. The casing goes all the way to the floor. It's built in at the top with crown molding and it fully encompasses the clothes, meaning it's like two feet instead of one foot where the hanger sticks out. This type of shelving with only doing the one foot and not going all the way to the floor is so much less expensive. Once the clothes are in there, you can't really tell. Larger casings that are floor to ceiling come with backing and it is completely covered by clothes most of the time. I originally was thinking, oh, I want garment racks everywhere. They're so great. They're so convenient. Well, at $90, do I though? No, so we just have these two here. And then my husband has one for his ties, for his belts, and then I have one for my belt. So that was enough money to spend. <laughs> Another idea is don't do an island. So the island itself is literally thousands of dollars. I think when most people think of a California closet, they think of an island. <laughs> I used to have an island in here. It was like a, you know, a makeshift dresser, whatever. Having this area in the middle here freed up and cleared off is so much nicer. And this space feels so much bigger. The California closet hamper system, you know, it's just aesthetically more pleasing. They would have been more covered up, but a couple things here. Not only would it have taken a lot of space, they were like $400 a piece. I mean, so right there is $1,200 in hampers. Instead, I found these at Target and I think they were like $15 each. Hey, it's just me, Jen the Homefluencer, popping in here for a brief intermission. I invite you to please comment down below and actually use the like, dislike as your vote towards what you think of this content because truly that will help me shape the future content of this channel. And I like to think of this as our channel, so your vote is really important to me. I wanted a door at the middle here with a mirror in it. The door itself, I want to say, was something like $900. And the door with a mirror was something like $1,500. And the funny part is we have a mirror right in our bedroom. You know, we have the mirror at the get ready station. It's not necessary. It just isn't. Another area where I think people get enticed is the lighting. If you put light
lights and all of these cabinets. It would have been thousands of dollars. My husband and I are actually thinking about putting lighting at the very top, like that rope LED lighting, which will probably cost... I don't know, maybe 80 bucks and be a little mini Saturday project. It's either that or pay thousands of dollars. I'm pretty sure I'd rather have a Saturday project. <laughs> Crown molding alone was something in the neighborhood of like $2,500. And I was like, eh. They do this, what you'll see here is this fascia and the crown, but it's really the crown that costs a lot of time and labor and material. And I said, what about if we just do the fascia and don't do the crown? I love how modern it looks. So it goes almost to the ceiling, which actually might work out really great if we do put lights up there. Those rope lights will fit right in and it'll kind of have this ambiance of a glow, but it tops it off really nicely. It makes it look very high end. This feature right here was in the neighborhood of six to seven hundred dollars compared to twenty five hundred dollars for crown. I could not believe it. Okay, let's get into the much anticipated cost portion. I just want to give a perspective here because I know half of you watching will probably think, oh, that is way less expensive than I would have thought it would have been, which I was in that boat. <laughs> And the other half of you are probably thinking, wow, I would never spend that much money on a closet. So when you think about an entire room renovation, so you're doing a new living room, you're gonna put up new lighting, floors, you're gonna get all new furniture. I view this almost like how I would view a room renovation like that. Not a kitchen renovation, not a bathroom renovation. Those are of course high ticket items, but I looked at it like that because it truly is an entire room in our home. So I gotta tell you, I've always wanted a California closet. What girl does? right in my head I had always thought my dream California closet is probably $30,000 I mean and I just could never justify that price I just couldn't my husband and I still live in our first home it's one of those things where you thought you'd be here for a hot second and 11 years later we're still here it's not the home that we're likely to live long term so you know you just can't justify spending that type of money because I thought it was so expensive I never even bothered to look into it well I wish that I did so I went into the showroom with the mentality of if I can get something that I think is beautiful for ten thousand dollars or less I will do it. And I was really pleased to find out that the all-in price here was under $9,000. It was the high eights. That price actually includes tax and it includes all the design work, all of the custom, everything, and the labor. And the labor on a closet of this size and scope took exactly one day. It was like they were in and out and you didn't even realize they were here and all of a sudden you have a closet. I mean, it was so great. If you did like this video and felt like you got value, please hit the like button down below because that actually also does tell YouTube to share it with other people. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. That way every Wednesday we can all roll up our sleeves and real design together. If you happen to be interested in hanging out more, I actually do have a second channel here on YouTube. I really appreciate the time we spent together here today, and I will see you soon next Wednesday.